hello good morning so this is like our second video tutorial in the series of configuring a delimited file in talent so if you guys remember last time we we kind of discussed quite a few things uh, in in the configuration of a csv file so I'll, I'll just do a quick recap of things that we discussed last time so the first thing that we, we discussed was like uh, the difference between a built-in and the repository uh, property type and a schema so if a, if a property type or schema is a repository in that case it is kind of referring to the metadata of the delimited file from the repository tree so over here it's kind of getting the metadata from csv file for demo which is kind of stored in the metadata in the repository tree so it's something like this so this is my repository over here in metadata file input file delimited and from there it is kind of reading the metadata so if i say anything that is repository it will it will have uh, one thing uh, a blessing and the other would be a curse blessing is like one one change that you make in over here uh, in in the repository uh, that change would get reflected in all the jobs uh, let's say today this file is having like uh, what how many columns or uh, three columns configured if I add an additional column to it it will automatically get reflected over here <coughs> as compared to built-in if I keep it as <coughs> built-in in the job <coughs> the metadata would be embedded in this job itself and it will not affect any of the other jobs so Th that was just a quick recap and kind of an interview question recap uh, the next uh, thing is like what what we are going to do today so this is like uh, the configuration that I'm using for this component so I'll just quickly run you guys file name or stream is the file which I'm picking up for reading reading the data for analysis the field separator is the file is a comma separated file csv options the escape character and the text enclosures so i'll just show you the file and what these settings are the csv options <coughs> sorry guys if you guys remember from the last session we we had couple of uh, columns we 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 tried to create couple of columns address and the pin code and we added extra double quotes to the data so this extra double quotes to the data means that you know we are not considering these commas between the data as field separators so although the field separator that I've configured over here in this component is a comma but the commas that I get in within the within the double quotes is something that is not separating the field but those commas are the part of my actual data so that is why you know we have these text enclosures and the escape character is something like you know uh, this thing so if I say that I am kind of enclosing my text my record in a double quotes and what if this double quotes is the part of my data itself over here I've, I've got this double quotes as a part of my data so this is my first column salary column and this is my second column uh, which which starts from you know dham comma plot number 643 comma then couple of spaces then six and then there's a double quote 43 slash 18 and then there's a comma so this entire thing becomes my field and this entire thing should be represented like something like this with only one double quote it's because you know the double quotes is being used as a, a text enclosure so whenever I'll, I'll encounter a double quotes so I'll, I'll get them get them in in a pair so these two double quotes uh, would would be considered as a single double quotes so just to escape this this double quote is there in the data so I'll, I'll just go out here and present some scenarios that that we can have so I'll just deactivate these two components for now 
so what if you know I, I go out and uh, I don't have any CSV options and I am not doing any trim and there is no ok I'll, I'll keep this as uh, the thing for now just do an F6 so now nothing is getting read and I'm, I'm also getting an error couldn't pass the value for column salary in row 4 the value is 10 and after 10 it's kind of you know stopping uh, and it's not reading anything so basically the problem is like I've, I've got 10,000 and I've got a thousand separator over here as well with with a comma so in this case if I want to ignore the numeric uh, field which has got you know a comma into it so in that case I'll, I'll go out and make just a small change in the advanced settings I've got advanced separator for numbers I've got a comma over here and I've got a decimal separator as dot and in the basic settings I'll, I'll go out and s check on this CSV options so my text enclosure is a double quotes that's for sure and I'll also have an escape character as a double quote wherever you know I encounter a double quote in the data so with these settings I'll, I'll just go out and run the job again so now it is kind of reading the data as is I mean not as is but uh, as expected so this is my salary column the salary is 10,000 now it's skipping this it is kind of treating this comma as a thousand separator and this field which starts in from them and ends at sector 18 so there are couple of commas in this record and these commas are not getting treated as the field separator and then I'm getting the pin code as well along with that I've also configured an additional column which is not there in the file not a part of this file but it's kind of a transformed column uh, and a derived column which is just calculating the length of this pin code so there's there's one small setting uh, so the length of this pin code is coming in as like 14 at one place so I've added an extra spaces in this this field in this record so what if you know I want to remove then the extra spaces that I have in the data so in that case I've got an additional property that I can use uh, it's it's there sitting in the advanced settings and it's like trim all the columns so once I uh, once I check on trim all the columns that additional spaces should also go so now it's everything coming in as 6 and it has kind of removed all the additional columns that we had now uh, now let's take an example of you know uh, I'll, I'll just get rid of these columns and keep this file as like a two column file address and the pin code and if I save this now if you see the structure of the file has changed and I'll also enable this thing I'll do an F6 now over here I'll get an error in the file stating that you know it is expecting a numeric column in the first column salary couldn't pass parse the value for column salary in row 4 it's because I've configured the column salary as a big decimal column that's why you know I'm getting an error but what if the column was a string column so this is like one of the interview questions that may be asked so if if I keep it as a string column in that case everything would get parsed oh I'll have to make the changes in the sub subsequent T maps so I'll just quickly make them apply ok yeah over here and over here
Now this is irritating. Error message and error code. I'll take care of them later on. Just for the demo purpose, I'll execute this quickly. So now, even even though you know the the structure of the file has changed, the salary column has been uh, has been you know changed to a string column, and now it's kind of reading reading all the records from that column. So I'll I'll show you the file. So only two columns are there, but in the job I I still have three columns. Uh, the, those three columns are like my salary column, my address column, and the pin code column. And in the output, in the salary column, I'm getting the plot number sector 18 address. Pin code is null, and column length is minus one. It's by by this output, I understand that you know something has goofed up. So I'll go and have a look at the file. So over here, I've got this record and I've got this record and I've, I've kept the configuration same as it was earlier with the CSV options escape characters and the text enclosures but still these three columns are getting mapped to these two columns data and the third column which is actually not there it's populating null for it so in that case I'll have to check the schema that is present in this job with the file so I'll have to make use of this setting check each row structure against schema and if I run this now I'll, I'll get an error saying that columns are missing and if I kind of uh, remove that additional column I should be good with it I remove this say okay and there you go I'll have to remove the column from here as well. There you go. So each row structure again schema would go out and check the structure that you've defined in the job with the file and only then it would start parsing the rows. So a quick recap CSV options escape character and text enclosures is done advanced settings we've we've understood an advanced separator for numbers or uh, trim all columns it will go out and trim check each row structure again schema we are done with it for check date and the other settings uh, we'll we'll meet up next time maybe next week or maybe this week is like a work from home week I'll, I'll come up with the video in this week itself so guys stay safe stay safe sorry and stay at your